Good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to Fish Tech Live. And um, we are talking about, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> start off with a frog in the throat. Um, we are talking about Hudutro Dam. Um, I just want to see, um, I want to see if anybody is on. Sorry, I'm a minute late. I was meant to come on at seven. Um, <clears throat> uh, wait, wait. Let me stop this. This is looped. Pause. Go back to one. I've never managed to work out how to stop that from automatically starting its its loop cycle. I've done all sorts of searching and what have you. Um, let me just have a look here. Let's put mute that. <clears throat> okay, I just want to make sure that it's on and it's working. There we go. Okay. It, it's working. Guys, there is a, a chat uh, column there. So please uh, don't, don't hesitate if you've got a question or comment or you'd like to add to this. If you know anything about the dam that you'd like to mention, especially about recent uh, events and what have you, um, that, that really would, would, would be awesome. Uh, sound, that type of thing. If anybody can do a sound check for me, just make sure that everything's working from a sound perspective. Um, <clears throat> Guys, as you, as you can see behind me here, um, this is an aerial photograph I took with a drone in uh, 2016 when the dam was down at about 20, 21 percent. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there behind me. <clears throat> okay. Um, now, guys, I can't go all the way there, but and then my finger's going to disappear out of the screen. But if you look over my left shoulder up there, You'll see at the end of the slipway, there's a tiny, tiny little dot there. <clears throat> and that little dot is my boat. And that'll give you a perspective of how low the dam was in 2016 and how low it looks at 21%. Now, if you look around that area and you see those big rocks and boulders and what have you, I mean, if you look at the size of my boat, those are not pebbles or little hand thrown rocks those are boulders there so that's some serious stuff oh jean borman hello jean good evening uh thank you everything seems to be working then you can hear me awesome <clears throat> right uh let's have a look at the next photograph yeah this is another one uh, um, uh i didn't take this image this image i got off the internet uh but back then i knew it was approximately 20 percent and it turned out to be 21 percent and that's what it looks like when it's really, really low. Um, <clears throat> in October last year, I went back to Hudetro because the dam had come up substantially. And I thought, let me just try and get in there and get some contour data. Because I never had any contour data. Because when the dam was down at 21%, what I did was I went in with a drone. And I recorded all that low imagery stuff. Because let's be honest. There's no sonar in the world that is going to give you the clarity and the definition of HD uh, drone imagery in a chart. It's just not going to happen. Okay, um, so it's, it's really great information. The only problem with uh, HD imagery, drone imagery, is you lose perspective. You know that 3D perspective? But remember, we've got a, a, a chart built in there as well, and it comes from the HD imagery, uh, from the aerial HD, and it's called Elevation, which is going to give you your 3D type charts. This is the chart that the juniors are going to be using in Clan William now shortly. I think it's April. And wow, guys, the guys that learn how to read that will do very well. So youngsters, get organized, make a little board with your with a point one, a little ram mount and a battery or whatnot. Although the the boat owner should uh, give you a battery supply with the boat when, when you get on. I think that's pretty should be pretty standard. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Michael Cannon's joined us. Hi Mike, how are you doing? Um, all great you can hear loud and clear. Fantastic. So everything seems to be working fine. Okay. Um, let's look at another picture. That was October those uh, uh, slots that you see there those those like sandwich you know like like, like the um 
uh, slices of a loaf of bread those are one meter each okay so in october the dam was down by 12 meters which is nearly 40 feet <clears throat> then okay this was at the same time when the dam was that low this is that um uh, island near impiva i think it's called and uh, this will just give you an idea of how much that in Beaver Island was actually sticking out back in October 2020 when I when I mapped it. You can see uh, in the text there it says Kudutra Dam is at 51%, which means it's 37 feet down. Okay, <clears throat> actually more than that. January this year, uh, Jean Borman, I think it was you, Jean. Hey Brian, Brian LePan's also there. Fish Tech Dogs, yes. Go, go, go. Jeez, the guys are hammering the fish on the weekend. But jeez, that fishing would look tough, eh? Ooh, Inanda doesn't look like a like a fun place to fish at the moment. But anyway, um, Jean, and Jean Bowman managed to land himself an absolute dog at uh, um, Inanda on the weekend. Congratulations. Yo, that makes a hell of a difference. Well done. Um, anyway, in January, Jean sent me this, this picture saying that the water is definitely coming up. Uh, which was great news okay by February <clears throat> let's just go back again it was nine sort of within like a week or so it jumped up a meter boom but have a look at this next one that was sent to me this last Sunday <clears throat> yesterday it's only six meters down that means it's 20 feet down from full that is amazing absolutely amazing the update according to KwaZulu Natal dam levels for Hudetro is 71 percent I think it's a little bit more than that to be honest but let's take the official statement this was on the 22nd of the second and we did have quite a bit of rain after the 22nd so I think there's a chance that this dam is even higher than that 71 percent but uh, let's see uh <clears throat> what what happens the next time um right let's get on to the actual chart <clears throat> right guys there is Hudutro dam this was the lowest satellite image that i could find of um Hudutro dam and this um <clears throat> satellite is obviously included if I go menu and I go more options, I go satellite, you can see uh, on the satellite chart, there it is. Um, the, there's, it, 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 it's a pretty good satellite, uh, you know, sh showing very, very low. However, what I wanted to do was compare how low it is compared to the Aerial HD when I was there with the drone. So let's change that to aerial hd <clears throat> uh, so that was sitting on the 70 foot mark roughly let's go back to the satellite uh do we have go to your category turn the lines on we can also turn points on there we go yeah so basically this satellite imagery that you've got here is very very uh similar to um, the aerial HD as you can see there you know from a, um, a a level perspective but I want to show you something what happens when we go to satellite when we zoom in okay it's not bad you can see these are big rocks okay but look how nice it is being able to add <clears throat> these these contours so you know what these contours are but ah, i need to i need to mention this this is very Im important i have compensated for this dam level coming up this that you see here should be around 75 percent maybe even touching 80 percent which is roughly what you guys are going to fish so if you're targeting something that you see that looks fantastic on the satellite chart for example make sure to turn on under more options chart options categories turn on the lines you can see them there okay 
and that will give you the depth that you're fishing okay but i want to show you another fantastic option that you guys have got here i was talking about the elevation giving you that 3d perspective type of look there it is there now guys you would have noticed that charts around the world at the moment everybody's talking about multi-beam charts um, they call it CMAP Reveal, they call it all sorts of names, Shaded This, all sorts of names, okay? This, I can tell you now as a fact, none of that multi-beam data will come anywhere near to the definition that you're going to get from HD uh, drone imagery. It's just, it, it's using a form of LIDAR, light distance ranging okay um john Borman says uh, it is still raising uh, it's still rising as we speak so the dam's still coming up so guys uh i know there is a tournament there i think at the end of the month um be prepared for this dam coming up even more than than that again guys go to your elevation view go to your more options go to chart options go to categories just get comfortable with with these with, with, with the system and there it is you're going to see that's going to be a little bit deep as far as I'm, I'm concerned. I think a lot of the fishing is going to happen down here in this sort of area. I'm not saying this area, but I'm talking about this type of depth. And then obviously that, that to me really stands out. But what is that? Now, guys, be careful. Is that a bush, a tree, whatever? Or is it a, a rock or something? There's only one way you're going to know change to aerial hd look at that you wouldn't have even known that that hump is there look 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 at the contour line there's not enough definition in the contour to even show that that hump is is there but guys i think 20 foot is a really good targetable depth at this point can zoom in on that doesn't look like anything you switch over to your elevation view and boom you've got a, a little hump there of some sort that is valuable information so yeah please don't be scared of flicking between the various charts unfortunately we don't have the entire dam <clears throat> done in um, aerial HD and elevation because obviously I could only get to where are we <clears throat> i could only get to here and then by then it was just too shallow it was only 21 percent. there's no water and there were a lot of crocodiles around this area and i just decided to call it a day <laughs> and get out of there so yeah guys i think this is uh, this i believe is going to be the most powerful chart that the, that the guys are going to be using uh, for um, for targeting this 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 dam, I want to show you something really special here. <clears throat> these things here that you see, these speckled goodies here. Let me just see who's who's here. Um, hey Zane, good evening Zane, how you doing? Good evening, Marius Mostert. Good evening, uh, Marius, how you doing? He says the Saba Natal divisionals are on the twenty and twenty first of March fantastic pro staff this is a golden opportunity for you guys to push these these charts that is fantastic yeah and guys if you don't have this this chart the pro staff guys please contact me and make sure that you get a copy but only if you're going to the dam if you're not going to the dam don't don't worry i need you to go fish it those who who do have the opportunity so please that'll be great um uh, guys if you look at these speckles here you think okay what are these speckles all about here and you're not sure again go back to your <clears throat> aerial hd those are those pepper bushes now you're going to get there and you're going to think ah oh, but i can see the pepper bushes guys do you know how dirty this water is speak to joan borman speak to marius mostert speak to the guys that that go there that water is dirty you can't see one eye into the water unless it's changed if, if, if it's improved since i was there um guys please uh, correct me but that water is dirty so if you're going to be depending on sight fishing you're going to have a tough time but 
again you can identify what that is it's those pepper bushes those pepper bushes when you say pepper bushes and could in the same sentence the third thing that normally comes after that is just you should have seen the size of the fish okay but i think you need some serious line to pull them out of here but just to get a glimpse of what that should look like let's look at these images there's about 500 odd photographs all around the dam and guys there it is <clears throat> remember this all the photographs that you see around the dam here at the moment was when the dam was at 51 percent it's come up six meters since then which is 19.8 feet call it 20 feet okay but the water is going to be up there can you see those green bushes in the background there let me zoom in a bit it's those pepper bushes now imagine if you had a tool where you could identify those pepper bushes in a clump like that and you can target the edges around the sides of those pepper bushes with incredible accuracy guys this is where you're going to go change over you're going to go down to aerial hd and you're going to change the elevation and there you have it guys there you're going to know exactly where those pepper bushes are they really stand out super super clear you can see little spots like that that i've just marked there now um you can see these little pockets where it's clear if you go back to the um <clears throat> aerial hd you'll see there's like a little let's let's call it a bold spot but it's a little bit of a gap you know where it didn't get too overgrown and i think that's going to um be quite quite valuable um let's see who else will join us jacques de toy hello jacques how are you doing um oh we've got a friend there ratsako koski oh, excuse my pronunciation uh, uh he says hello from finland on which devices this this views um man this uh, on all lawrence units from the hds generation 2 and as well as the elite ti ti2 and now of course the latest fs unit these charts will only work on the Lawrence units at, at this point. Um, so yeah, I hope that answers that. So uh, guys, please um, don't hesitate. I want to go back to <clears throat> some of these photographs. We're going to change that. Let's change it to satellite. Okay, because remember, we've we've got photographs for the whole dam even where the satellite imagery ended you, you'll see up this area there's no satellite imagery because i couldn't get up there it was all dry and there were crocodiles everywhere so and they were really busy let me tell you very very busy but guys don't be scared you've got the depths here you know what depths to to target and you've got all these photographs so go and look at these photographs and get an idea of what there is in this area and you can see it's all just pepper bush pepper bush pepper bush all the way up so <clears throat> okay that's not a good photo at all that does happen sometimes i'm trying to drive the boat oh there we go i'm trying to drive the boat take photographs and everything all at the same time and it, and as you can imagine that that gets a little bit tricky but this will definitely give you an idea of what you've got in these sort of areas you know especially now that the water level has come up quite sub substantially let's do one more just for good measure no. okay but that'll give you an an idea how overgrown this river area became but there are photographs there um guys um i don't think there's anything more to to really talk about on this area it's i, I don't want to give too much away obviously some guys have spoken to me and given me some really wonderful stuff which i'd love to share with you but they've asked me not to um but guys just take your time and remember you've got a lot of different uh options here i mean there's photographs there's 3d elevation there's satellite there's absolutely everything so yeah guys please um let me just put this up let me just see yeah, we'll just leave that 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 there um guys uh before i go last thing let me just see are there any uh questions no there aren't any questions but guys um want to fish tech cap uh give colleen a buzz we, we we've got these in in stock you'll have to ask her what what they cost um another very very nice 
goodie that we've got is the vault you can write on there with the paint marker whatever and guys these vaults they're completely waterproof as you can see there they're completely waterproof and they take six, 12, they take up to 24 uh, memory cards in them and you can write on there what what chart it is with a permanent uh, a paint marker or whatever um, like these these are fantastic these paint markers but uh, guys yeah please get yourself one of these unfortunately we've had some terrible sad stories recently where the guys have lost their their charts and whatnot just get a vault it's protected can land in the water it floats we don't make any profit on those we're just giving to the, giving them to you at cost as well as the caps as well as whatever it, it's just to make your experience that much much better so guys if there are any uh, questions regarding uh, the hooded tro charts please give me a shout alternatively get hold of Colleen get your chart start practicing with it as soon as possible remember a fish tech chart is the only fishing tool that you will get more benefit from from sitting in the comfort of your home than actually being on the water it's called being prepared and I tell you what there's absolutely nothing wrong with being prepared for a fishing trip if it's a tournament even more so in fact if you're in a tournament and you haven't got the fish tech charts you shouldn't even be in the tournament but that's my personal opinion but um, for the guys that just like to go fishing everybody loves a little bit of fishing but catching that's a different game all altogether so get yourself a chart be armed be prepared and become a hunter i'll catch up with you guys during the next show or video whatever and to the guys fishing the tournaments at Hudetro, best of luck.